In the introduction lessons, we're going to go over the standard screen layout and some of the standard toolbars you'll be using in Katia V5. Let's get started by going over the Start Menu Toolbar. This toolbar contains all the workbenches that you have access to. And you see that uh, there's many workbenches associated with Katia V5. Let's go to Mechanical Design, Part Design, and we'll open up a new part. You'll notice that uh, the specif specification tree here, and this contains all the tools and processes used to create a part. As I click on the XY plane, you should notice that the XY plane in the middle of the screen in the viewing area is uh, highlighted in blue. And also, as I go to the YZ plane, it is also highlighted, the ZX plane also. I can go over to the actual YZ plane and move my mouse over it, and it highlights on the specification tree. This also works with all the entities that you'll create with the part. Uh, for example, a circle or a point or a line, you can uh, move your mouse button over it and it will highlight in the specification tree. Now sometimes you're not going to want the specification tree to be visible, such as when you're doing a rendering or a, a screen capture. So you go to the view area and you go to specifications and you click on this to make it disappear or you can click the F3 key. To make it reappear you just go back and do the same thing. Now to move the specification tree just move your cursor over to the white branch until the hand cursor appears. Left click on it and you'll notice that the compass changed colors and also the uh, part of the viewing area change colors here and that means that we have successfully selected the specification tree and all you have to do is drag it by middle clicking the mouse button and holding it down as you drag it to wherever you want to place it and then letting go of the middle key now if you want to make it smaller or bigger, you would hold down the middle button and then clicking the left button and holding it down. Notice that I get the up and down cursor. You would move the mouse towards you or away from you depending on whether you want to make it smaller or bigger. If you want to make it bigger, you move it away from you like that. And if you want to make it smaller, you move it towards you like that. And then let go of the middle and left mouse buttons. Now our specification tree can grow quite large. And as it grows bigger and bigger, um, the scroll bar will appear. I'm going to go ahead and make it very large. And notice the scroll bar appears as it gets very large. Now always remember to click the specification tree once again to be able to select your parts once you have some parts available.